When it comes to enabling and exposing on Christian spring boot actuators, I'm reminded of that handsome man who once said, many are called, but few are chosen. You see, there's a number of different spring boot actuator endpoints that you can choose from. There's ones that deal with health statistics, environment variables, metrics, loggers, loaded beans. The list goes on and on and on. And pretty much all of them are enabled by default. However, only a couple of them are exposed. And you have to actually go in and explicitly expose the ones that you want access to. Now, there's a couple of ways to do that. One is by just being very, very irresponsible and setting the management endpoints web exposure include setting in your application properties file or application YAML, I don't discriminate, setting it to a bug splat. If you do that, then everything's going to be exposed, unchristian. Alternatively, you could explicitly state which endpoints will be exposed. You can see that on line eight, which is currently commented out with that Octothorpe. Um, that's probably a better way to do it, but maybe for development and certainly for learning, enabling them all is gonna make this tutorial go a little bit smoother. Another thing you'll notice here is that I've configured these actuators to be enabled only in dev mode. You can see that I've set up a dev profile there and you can actually configure multiple profiles all in a single application dot properties file. Some people may not be aware of that. I actually got a, a tutorial on YouTube all about that if you're interested. Uh, but you can see that right here, I've made sure that these are only going to be enabled when dev profiles are active. That's very important because you're going to be exposing a great deal of information to the world through these Spring Boot actuator endpoints. For example, if I enable the environment NV endpoint ENV, this is going to show all sorts of information about my personal environment, show my computer name, it'll show where the JVM is. It's all sorts of information that you do not want to get out into the world. And so here I am, actuator ENV, not EVN. And here you can, wait a minute, everything start out. Oh my, it's almost like the people at Spring Boot are very, very wise. Okay, by default, it is all commented out, but you can make a couple of changes to your application properties file. You could say, always show those values and when you do a control save and bring that application up again, boom, boy, do I ever feel exposed. All the information about my local environment. And if you push this into production, this would be information about your server is going to actually get exposed for the world to see. So it's really, really important to configure those set of properties there and configure a profile so that Maybe it is somewhat lax when you're doing development, but things are locked down when you go into production. With great power comes great responsibility. Spring Boot actuators are very powerful, but make sure you're always responsible when you're using them. Okay, very quick interruption here. You know, my videos don't do that well on YouTube. I've really upset the algorithm for a few reasons. If you could like, comment, subscribe, I'd actually really love to hear from you. But beyond that, it'll wake up the algorithm just a, a little bit and, and maybe these videos will get a little bit more exposure. The other thing I wanted to mention too was I've got a new copy of Hibernate Made Easy coming out for Hibernate 7. I'm going to be raffling off free coffees for people that are members of my mailing list. So please subscribe to my newsletter. I'll also be giving away some free chapters of that. And also I did some of the final edits on the Scrum Master Certification Guide by Darcy DeClue. So if you're agile, interested in getting Scrum Master certified, a lot of people have been using this to score 100% on the exam. It's available on over, over on Amazon. I got some links in the description. Please go check it out. Okay, back to the coding.